I thought it was important to go on the record here just so we can clear up the validity of what's being said to the people of the world. Ah, to that end, uh, the only way I can do that with my daughter screaming in the background, I want you to look at this screen here, reference to Checkpoint.com, which is supposed to be a leading provider of quote-unquote threat reduction abilities for computers. Now, at face value, you're like, oh, that's pretty cool. You're looking at a live threat map. Here's the problem with the idea of a live threat map. Um, if you bother to look, I'm not even connected to the internet. Okay? Now, now, pay attention. I'm not connected to the internet. Okay? And we're just going to sit here for a few minutes and let you see what it is that you don't really understand that's going on. Uh, you're being lied to about every damn thing that you do on this wire. And it doesn't matter whether you're government or military or corporate or programmer or anything like that. You're being lied to anonymously by assholes that don't even know what they're doing. We've been so successful at creating a centralized global communication system based on the communist manifesto with its fake ass banks, fake ass information system, that you believe what you're seeing on these screens. And I'm telling you on the record, as a member of US Army Signal Corps, you understand it? Okay? I'm just trying to tell the story here so that people see the reality of what's going on in their life. Why does that matter? Well, if you produce fake data to convince a government to do something because you're fear-mongering people, uh, it's just crystal clear. You have to ask yourself, if I'm not connected to the Internet in no way, shape, or form, and I'm telling you as someone that knows, I'm not because, number one, there's no wire connected to my computer, and number two, uh, the uh, Wi-Fi has been turned off. Okay. Now, there's either one or two things going on here with the understanding that I had a American-made computer shipped to me from Ukraine after finding a compromised CPU boards and, and devices in the country of Ukraine after 15 years. We had a company build a computer and it was shipped to me. So whatever this machine I'm using is, it's an American standard machine uh, using an Intel wireless interface and Windows 10 Professional with 100% legitimate software on my computer. So as we're sitting here looking with the understanding that... Uh, it's now 2210. If you look down at the live threat map, okay, and uh, it, it's continuing to run here. All right. So if you're receiving live data, all right, and you're not connected to the internet, what is it that you're looking at right now? I'm going to tell you what I know after 36 years behind these screens, or at least in the RF business. One more time. You're being lied to by the quote-unquote wireline service providers and the quote fear-mongering idiots that scare the hell out of people in the defense arena for the purposes of Allowing them to become a self-regulated organization, a self-regulated organization that has a mandate of baffling you with bullshit, so that they can extract uh, wealth from you, while at the same time 
controlling what you think, what you see, and what you hear. And uh, this stuff matters, okay? I've said it before and I'll say it again. A leader can't make a decision based on uh, misinformation. Because if they do, in the information age, if you're using misinformation as a business model, and I'm telling you on the record, uh, Checkpoint.com, using their uh, threat cloud intelligence, live cyber attack threat map, they're a fraud. And I say that as a member of U.S. Army Signal Corps, and it's being showed to you live that they're a fraud. Uh, and I submit to you, you got to keep it simple. No matter what language, no matter what flag, no matter what your religious belief is, no matter what your quote-unquote station in life is, these wireline systems are compromised. They have been since the beginning, based on a very simple idea. Uh, if you look at the origin of the global wire system, uh, the Queen uh, of England uh, initially put the money up for the deployment of the technology that is the radio today. And uh, she was lied to. So think about somebody that's got the audacity to lie to a king, a, a king and a queen in the 1800s. And then come forward with the mentality that says, well, shortly thereafter that, uh, history has shown that a whole lot of kings and queens in the world were killed uh, up to and including the Tsar of Russia and, and, and all the other royal houses. Uh, and, and this stuff matters because at the end of the day, as a Christian, I try to keep it simple. When I look at the state of the world, uh, it, it, if the reality of the God that I believe in matters to anybody, and I don't really care if it don't, I'm just speaking my mind. Uh, the right to rule was given to the kings. And what I know is if you kill a king, you've got a problem. And if you kill a bunch of kings, you've got a bigger problem. And that's what I know. So it is with that mindset that I'm just speaking out as the American broadcasting from Ukraine saying, come on, guys. You know, uh, usury, I mean, the, the, the money changers were told to leave the temple. Okay? And if history matters, based on a man's belief, uh, there's a common theme. A man has the right to clean water and clean food, and a roof over their head, and the right to travel in the place that they live in. Now, ironically, I'll use this map that's on the screen to explain to you where you live. You live on that space. Because, see, you're not a fish, and you can't live in the water. Okay? So, uh, you know, the Bible is very clear. You know, uh, man has uh, <laughs> your home is not a line on a map or a boundary. Your home is planet Earth uh, in whatever version it's currently being presented in. I personally believe that the maps are incorrect for a very simple reason. If they kill kings and they don't want to get caught and they steal things that don't belong to people and they don't want to get caught and they perpetuate fear uh, to maintain control of the lives of their crimes against children and women and history, which is where it really matters to me, um, then it's really simple. Now, now understand what I'm telling you here. Um, as I'm talking, uh, you are being told daily of things. And what you got to understand is Nothing you're being told is reality. There's only one reality if you're a human being. Okay? Uh, there is no shortage of energy. 
There is no shortage of bills of exchange. There is no shortage of your rights to exist as a human being because the quote-unquote organized state okay, has empowered you to be who you are if you can rise above being an unethical, immoral person. And if the cross matters that I've defended since I was the age of three, uh, with the understanding that uh, I've never met any quote-unquote man of faith, man of religion, that would ever condone uh, legitimately the, the killing of another. Uh, we do know that the kings and the military from which my origin exists very proudly uh, being able to uh, join the ranks of, uh, of the soldiers of history um, and failing more times than not because I'm just not, you know, I'm not Rambo and I'm not, I'm in the rear of the gear on the radio. I'm just smarter than the average bear. I can't deal with people slicing and bashing people, but I have a right to make sure that the systems that are used uh, to defend and at this particular point in my life I have two sons in the military so I'm absolutely going to speak up as a U.S. Army veteran from the Reagan era uh, we need to give the soldiers and the leaders and the corporate officers real information and we can't do that if criminal assholes from the legacy systems of yesterday, was there a time in the world when there was extreme need for uh, quote-unquote user to be enabled? Well, yeah, and the reason was at some point, um, you know, the cost of paper, money, are you kidding? Or the cost of securing uh, bins of metal? I mean, think about it. What good is is a metal coin? What good is a paper coin uh, or a paper instrument? You don't do nothing to give it away, and uh, it gets even more real when you look at it through reality's eyes. You spend your whole life today chasing a virtual number in virtual space, and the way it's enabled to continue to allow you to be baffled with bullshit so they can keep you afraid is with stuff like this. I mean, think about it. You open up this screen, you're like, wow, that's scary, all these attacks. Uh, well, what's being attacked? It's just a program, people. A computer will only do what a human being allows it to do. And what they're using the computers for today is to keep you scared and stupid. And that's not the oath I took, okay? Um, my, my, my path in life has been to try to empower people with knowledge that says that the world's a beautiful place. Okay. And it can be a lot more beautiful if... if and I'm not thinking about this kumbaya and all this kind of stuff. I'm not some flower child. I'm not some drug addict. I, 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 and you know what? Even that, you know, take the needle out of your own damn eye so you can see yourself and then look at the world because we're sitting back uh, plugged into this wire being baffled with bullshit and yet, 22 of my brothers die every day. Nine out of ten children die every day because an adult didn't do something. And these communist bastards that have been driven out of uh, access to uh, their ability to retain power, they've scattered out across the globe. And... Uh, they're running because if you look at the truth of it, the Bolsheviks, um, 
and a communist and <laughs> the reality of the century that's engaging us today with an even further understanding if you go back far enough uh, uh, you understand what you're looking at you're looking at a program is what you're looking at now um, imagine these data uh, screens being compiled into reports that wind up on the desk of somebody like uh, uh, Vladimir Putin ah! Okay, or winds up on the desk of somebody like uh, Donald J. Trump, or winds up on the desk of any other leader. And the only reason I mention those two is because I am a Reagan Air soldier, and I'm smart enough to know at 53 years old, <laughs> my daughter's trying to kiss me, so it's okay. <laughs> Thank you for the kiss. <laughs> okay, so, so, uh, Maybe what I'm saying matters to people. Maybe it doesn't, but uh, I think it should. <laughs> okay. I, I, I'm going to be quiet now. Thank you for listening. I hope somebody learns from what it is I'm trying to show them here. Uh, I'm going to go away now. <laughs> My God. Thank you. Okay. Well, okay. Uh, she's trying to let me turn it off.